jumping from the top rope, from ladder tops and doing a suicide dive from the highest points in the arena. Any ordinary man who tried any of these things would probably wind up with a broken rib or even a fractured neck. But no trained wrestler can do it better than the Hardy Boys. Matt and Jeff Hardy are two superstars who set the path for high quality tag team matches in the WWE. They gained so much notoriety in the WWE back in the 90s for pulling off daring stunts in the famous TLC matches. The Hardy Boys have a lot of classics, but today we're going to be focusing on Matt Hardy alone. A lot of critics say Matt Hardy's best days were during his time in a tag team with his brother Jeff. Stay tuned, because not only is that notion completely wrong, this video is going to prove it. And make sure you stick to the juiciest part which comes at the end, where we reveal the amazing moment he claimed the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Let's get started. Matt Hardy, whose full name is Matthew Moore Hardy, was born in Cameron, North Carolina on September the 23rd, 1974. He's actually the older brother of Jeff Hardy. Their mother died of brain cancer in 1987 when Hardy was just 13 years old. From that time, Hardy made sure he cared for his little brother Jeff and did all he could to put food on their table. Hardy played baseball as a child but stopped in his senior year. He also played football as a linebacker and on the defensive end. After high school, Hardy attended the University of North Carolina at Charlotte where he majored in engineering. After a year, however, he dropped out due to his father being ill. He then attended Sand Hills Community College in Pinehurst to gain his associate degree. Matt and Jeff were living below the minimum because they were broke. But there's one thing they had in common, and that's their love and passion for wrestling. So, as a way to raise funds, they started their own federation, the Trampoline Wrestling Federation, and mimicked the moves they saw on television. They began making a few bucks, but Hardy wanted more. He then sent his tape to the WCW but was never called up. In 1994, Matt and Jeff Hardy went on to wrestle for several North Carolina-based independent circuit promotions and adapted several gimmicks. In 1997, they finally made enough money to start their own wrestling promotion called the Organization of Modern Extreme Grappling Arts, or Omega for short. They ran Omega for a couple of months before the WWE noticed them and subsequently signed them to a contract. After an official signing with the WWE, Matt and Jeff Hardy had some of the most elating matches in their career. They were known for their high-risk maneuvers and completely insane jumps from anywhere and everywhere around the ring. One of their most memorable performances came at WrestleMania 2000 in the first ever triple treat match featuring the Dudley Boys, Edge and Christian. It even claimed the 2000 award for Best Wrestling Match of the Year 2000 by Pro Sports Illustrated. Matt Hardy's next big step in the WWE was when he turned heel by attacking Jeff during Jeff's match against Rob Van Dam. According to the storyline, Matt attacked Jeff because Matt was frustrated at not receiving a match against Van Dam for the number one contendership for the Intercontinental title. A short time later, Hardy joined the SmackDown roster and began dubbing himself Matt Hardy version 1, complete with a version 1 hand signal. Hardy's portrayal of the gimmick version 1 was and is still considered one of the best gimmicks in pro wrestling. He also won an award for that. Matt Hardy was having an easy-going career and it all seemed perfect until something tragic happened. In 2004, Hardy was in an intense feud with Kane. This feud had been going on for months under the Raw brand. During one of the episodes of Raw, Kane chokeslammed Hardy out of the ring. 
This led to a severe knee injury that kept Hardy out for almost a year. After some sporadic appearances, the WWE finally released Matt Hardy from his contract. Downcast, heartbroken and sad were a few of the emotions plaguing Hardy at the time. And you might ask, why did the WWE let him go? Because of an injury? Well, it wasn't just the injury. Hardy's release was largely due to unprofessional conduct with social media after discovering that Lita, who was his love interest at the time, was having a real-life affair with his best friend, Edge. Of course, the WWE tried to turn this into a storyline for Lita and Edge, but the WWE Universe wasn't having it. They started a petition on the internet for the WWE to re-sign Matt Hardy. Meanwhile, heartbroken Matt Hardy went on to compete in other independent promotions before his electrifying comeback. On July the 11th, 2005 on Raw, Hardy attacked Edge backstage and attacked him again later during Edge's match with Kane. But Hardy was escorted out of the building with Lita actually calling him by his real name and even making claims that he was stalking her. This was very, very confusing for the fans because it seemed so real. So did Matt Hardy really break into the WWE? Well, WWE CEO Vince McMahon came out to clear the air. Mr. McMahon announced that the WWE had re-signed Matt Hardy. The entire crowd went wild with so much joy. Hardy was back and he was better than ever. After ending his feud with Edge, where Edge won with the help of Lita, another electrifying moment came in the WWE with Matt Hardy. MVP and Matt Hardy became the WWE Tag Team Champions. MVP and Matt are opposite sides of the same coin, they just don't go along. However, after a lot of feuds and matches together, they settled their differences in 2008 during the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 24. Hardy cut through the crowd and attacked MVP to prevent him from winning the match. From there, Matt Hardy won his first ECW championship and then had one of the most insane feuds in the WWE, and that was with his brother Jeff. But one question sat on the minds of many wrestling critics. How do you even put two blood brothers against each other for entertainment? For the WWE, it's all about what works, and they didn't see anything in it. It all started at the 2009 Royal Rumble pay-per-view after Hardy lost an ECW Championship rematch to Jack Swagger. Hardy immediately turned on his brother when he hit Jeff with a steel chair, allowing Edge to win the WWE Championship and turning heel in the process. This feud went on from the Royal Rumble all the way to WrestleMania 25, where Matt defeated Jeff in an Extreme Rules match and a stretcher match on the following episode of SmackDown. After almost a year of working with the WWE, Matt was again in a squabble with the WWE management. On September the 12th, 2010, WWE confirmed they had sent Hardy home from a European tour. Following this, Hardy began posting videos on his YouTube channel expressing his disinterest in the WWE and insisting that he wanted to be released from the company. His wish was their command because on October the 15th, 2010, WWE announced that Hardy had been released from his contract. And believe it when we say we thought it was forever. However, leaving the WWE at that time led Matt Hardy to the moment we've been waiting for, his rightfully earned World Championship. Before we talk about that, let's do something for you watching this video. We're doing a shout-out contest for our subscribers, so if you want to get a personal shout-out from us, go comment EPIC in the comment section below and stand a chance to win the contest. It's pretty easy, so go comment EPIC now! In 2011, Matt Hardy made his debut in TNA. 
he wrestled with other famous wrestlers like Ric Flair, AJ Styles and Chris Harris, but Matt was going through a lot mentally. It got so bad that he got suspended by TNA management just six months after he was signed to a contract. Even after his suspension, he didn't change. He was living life in the fast lane, and it made his in-ring performance poor, with his constant violation of company rules. Finally, on August the 20th, Hardy was released from TNA following a DUI arrest that occurred earlier that same day. He went back to competing in independent promotions and even got signed by the Ring of Honor promotion. After three years away from TNA, the promotion was looking to bolster its ticket sales and attract more fans. Jeff was currently signed to the promotion, so they re-signed Matt Hardy and reunited the Hardy Boys for the third time. The Hardy Boys were back and ready for action. They won the TNA Tag Team Championships, but after Jeff suffered an injury, they vacated the title while the management pushed Matt to make history. He began a new feud with EC3 for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. After three failed attempts at capturing the title from Ethan Carter III, the fourth time granted a miracle. On October the 4th, 2015, at Bound for Glory, Matt Hardy faced EC3 and Drew Galloway for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Jeff Hardy was the special guest referee for the match. Midway into the match, after EC3 hit Matt Hardy and Drew Galloway with his one per center move, he wasn't able to get a successful pin on either of them. EC3 was very frustrated and wanted to use a steel chair to harm his opponents even more, but Jeff Hardy, the referee, stopped EC3 and took the chair away from him. Being that Jeff was EC3's former personal assistant, he ordered Jeff to hit the chair on his brother Matt. Seeing that Jeff wasn't obeying his orders, he slapped Jeff in the face, which made Jeff smash the chair on his body, with Galloway getting up to knock EC3 out of the ring. Matt Hardy then took advantage of the distraction by delivering a twist of fate to Galloway. Galloway was down. Matt went in for the cover. And one, two, three, Matt Hardy became the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. What a legacy. Make sure you check out this other video showing on your screen. Bye for now.